My name's James Reed, and I'm proud to host this year's Reed Film Competition. James, for people who aren't aware of the Reed uh, Short Film Competition, how did it start, and what do you see as the value of it? The competition was originally my wife's idea. Um, she was at St Martin's Art School doing an MA and said, can we put an ad in the programme? And I said, yeah, but let's say something interesting in the ad. And she said, well, why don't we put in a film competition? Um, the original idea was to have a prize for £1,000. All I did was add a zero and make it a prize for 10000 But you can see here how many people now are excited about that opportunity to have their work uh, shown tonight. How satisfied are you to see the way that this competition over the past years has energised a new generation of storytelling? That's incredibly exciting for me because it, it's all about opportunity. We want to be all about opportunity. And um, you're right, energising storytellers is a good way of describing it. And we've got a really, really strong shortlist tonight. I don't know who's won. I'm excited to find out who has. We've also got a really impressive panel of judges. So we've got people like Tim Bevan, who founded Working Title Films as a judge. Paul Whelan, who I think has made more television commercials than anyone else. Molly Deneen, you know, a much decorated documentary filmmaker. So we've got a lot of you know, important people in the industry who are seeing this work as well. Well, I like films that, make you, that touch your feelings. You know, that you, there was a couple in the, in the list tonight that you, know, you felt, and, and that's what I like. And, um, you know, they can be beautifully shot, they can be well composed, but it's something that talks to your emotions that I like them to. And if people are inspired by watching coverage of tonight and would love to get involved next year, um, where can they go for more information about the ongoing competition? Uh, Read.co.uk forward slash film, and we will be running the competition again next year, and uh, we'll be announcing later in the year what the theme is.